Well, Boulder Mountain, a number of years ago, I was challenged to think through the things that I'm grateful for, not on an annual basis, it's, that's helpful to do, but what would it look like to do that on a daily basis? There's a book by Ann Voskamp that I read a number of years ago called A Thousand Reasons. And you can do it in your phone. You can just jot down a few, three things a day, five things a day, maybe 10 a day. As you begin your day, to write down those things, journal those things. What are 10 things every morning that you are grateful for? They might be significant. They might be the ordinary, the things when we turn on our faucet on, there's water, hot water in a, in a shower that we experience. Most of the world doesn't experience those things. And what are other things that you and I are thankful for? Count our blessings name them one by one. It is a really good habit and routine for a follower of Jesus to be grateful, recognize it, call them out by name. Jesus, did you know this? Jesus, every time he handles food in scripture, he pauses, he thanks his father. Now think of that. Everything was created through Jesus. The grain which grew from the earth that was created and grew through the power and the work of Jesus. And yet, he's humble enough to say, God, th thank you. Father, thank you for this food. What would it look like for you to begin a routine? Maybe not daily, but what, maybe every Saturday morning, you just stop to thank God for the things that you, where you saw him provide for you that week. Let's, let's be people who are, who are thankful and who are grateful. At Boulder Mountain this past year, there's a number of people I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for our guests. It takes a tremendous amount of courage to show up to a new church, to pull into a parking lot, maybe not knowing where to go. And there's a whole lot of feelings with that. And I, if you're a new this past year, I'm really thankful for you. If you've been at Boulder Mountain for a long time, I'm thankful for you that you have gone on the journey with us this past year and done some new things and experienced uh, some change. I'm thankful for you. Thank you for your grace. I'm thankful for our deacons who oversee ministry. I'm, thank you. I'm thankful for our elders who oversee our spiritual direction and leadership of the church. I'm, I'm thankful for our students and our student volunteers and everyone who serves on Wednesday nights, uh, serving so many of our students. We're praying for 50 to show up tonight for their friends giving. If you serve in our children's ministry, I'm really thankful for you. It means a lot to invest in the next generation, to give up an hour on a, on a Sunday to do that. Thank you. I'm grateful for our men's and women's ministry and the small groups that occur throughout the week, the fellowship that's been happening. I'm grateful for new small groups that Greg and Carol gathered some people together on Tuesday nights and there's some new small groups popping up. I'm grateful, I'm really grateful for the young adults that gather in our home every Sunday at five o'clock and for the new young couples small group. I'm thankful I'm grateful. I thank God. Philippians, Paul writes, I th every time I remember you, I thank my God for you. And specifically, I thank you for the partnership that you have at Boulder Mountain in the gospel. When you give and when you serve at Boulder Mountain, you are partnering in the work of the gospel in this community. I'm thankful for our seniors. I'm thankful for our food drive. I'm thankful for the 31 who were baptized this past year. I pray for them. Would you pray for them as well as they begin their journey of following Jesus? Many, many of them begin their journey. I'm thankful for our worship team. I'm thankful for our staff. So grateful for Judy Johnson who administers student ministries. And I'm thankful for Madison who serves in our office and helps keep things moving along. I'm thankful for Cass, who does so much behind the scenes, and I'm thankful for Isaac, who leads us every week in worship, and I'm thankful for Kirsten, who shows up after we all leave, and she does, uh, helps clean up uh, our facilities. I'm thankful for all the serve days this past year, 
And the list goes on and on. Listen, we're told to, to be grateful people. What does that look like in your life today? And may I encourage you, whether you are sitting with a small group of people tomorrow or, or many, would you take a moment and have the wisdom and have the courage to stand up and whatever environment you're in and, and pause and thank God, not just for the food before us, but for the many hundreds of different ways that he provided for you personally, he provided in your family, he provided through possibly employment, and he provided through our church. I'm so grateful we serve a loving God who loved us first, and our response back to him is of one of love and, and gratitude. From your pastor, I'm so grateful to be your pastor. Happy Thanksgiving. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.